welcome to this week's Pound Zero. Aside from the necessary evils of my weight loss journey, we're going to be talking about the Couch to 5K or C to 5K app to help us non-runners learn how to run. Uh, we'll be having a brief discussion on incidental exercise and finish up with a snack review. So let's get started. So this week was the epitome of bad weeks. I was perfectly well all week. I made a stack of bad food choices and I didn't complete one exercise all week. I didn't even end up going to park run this week. Um, I ended up taking my dog to the vet for his allergies instead, which is poorly timed. Um, but as a result, um, I am actually surprised by this week's outcome. <laughs> So when I started out this journey at the beginning of the year, I was 120 kilos or 264.5 pounds. Uh, last week I weighed in at 116 kilos or 255.7 pounds. And after my extremely poor effort this week, I weighed in at 116 kilos or 255.7 pounds. Go figure. So this week's weight loss is actually a big fat zero. Uh, this week in Australia, we had our Australia Day public holiday. Uh, and with that usually comes a whole stack of lunches and morning teas, and lamingtons and pavlovas and sausage sizzles and many, many, many poor food choices. Um, probably too many to list in my foodie fails of the week this week. There was, there was a lot. Um, but then coupling these bad food choices with a busy week at work where I worked long days, um, I ate my lunch at my desk in the minimum time required. Um, then I'd leave at the end of the day, actually exhausted, skip the gym, go home, have dinner just so I could have five minutes to myself before going to bed and getting up to do it all again the next day. Uh, so I'm actually very surprised that I managed to maintain my weight this week um, instead of putting it all back on. Um, but this week I'm back up on the wagon and we're prepping to have a good week this week. I should mention though, um, as part of this vlog, I do focus very much on the weight and the number that comes up on the scale whenever I step at it. But that's only one means of measuring weight loss. If you're actually doing a proper weight loss regime, you should also be measuring the uh, key points on your body, uh, including around the neck waist, hips and thighs and you should also be keeping an eye on your BMI which is related to you and your body shape and your weight and, and all the rest of it. No one method should ever be taken alone and it can be quite disheartening if you know the scales don't move but you never know you could actually still be losing centimeters. <laughs> C25K or Couch to 5 Kilometer app is made by a company called Cool Runnings and it's my app of choice as I'm learning to run. 5 kilometers is 3.1 miles and this app is helping me achieve my goal of running 5 kilometers, which unsurprisingly is the same distance as Park Run. And I'm sure it could help anyone else trying to do the same thing. Now, many people get turned off running because they go too hard too fast their body starts to rebel against this new exhaustive exercise and wind up miserable and wondering why anybody would want to take up running in the first place. Anyone starting out and learning to run needs to in ease into it gradually. Um, this app is perfect for beginners doing that as it intersperses walking with periods of running to help increase your endurance over time and distance. And the premise is to simply transform you from a couch potato to a runner, training every second day over a period of about two months. Now, it is important not to get too impatient. Don't skip ahead or do more just because you feel that you can. But also, it is equally as important that if you find the program too strenuous, don't push yourself for the sake of keeping up with the program. Just stretch it out. Repeat training days until you can complete it. It's designed to be your training at your pace and you only move forward when you feel ready. Now, each running session only takes between 20 and 30 minutes every second day. This also just happens to be the same amount of moderate exercise that is recommended by numerous studies for the optimum fitness. 
Now, don't worry about how far or how fast you are going. I'm a shuffler, trust me. I'm not going terribly fast at all. But running faster can wait until you're fitter. Now, if you can already run five kilometers or you complete the C2 5K program, Cool Runnings already has you covered. They have the next level apps being couched to five, uh, couched to 10 kilometers, sorry. Uh, they have a half marathon, which is 13.1 kilometers, and a marathon trainer. The apps are available on both Apple and Android devices via their respective stores. It's also available on the web in the link in the description below. <laughs> So if you're anything like me, at the end of a long work day, you intend to go for a workout, but your energy levels are low, you may be starting to get hungry or even a little hangry. Uh, now, while a banana is great before exercise, it's a great source of energy to keep you going, it's chances of survival in your handbag or gym bag to resemble anything even remotely edible by the end of the day is highly unlikely. Enter Quiff's Protein Bars. These little guys have few carbs for energy to get you going on your, your workout, uh, but they're also high in protein, which will aid your recovery post-workout, which is great. They're about 200 calories each. I'm going to put this one up. This one looks super tasty. Uh, they come in a variety of flavors that can also help curb sweet tooth cravings while being a clean cheat. Yay! Now, I got these from a store called Oxygen Essentials for Life in the Majura Shopping Centre in Canberra. I believe they are available from most Colesworths stores, but the flavours may vary depending on where you go. Now, I'm going to give this uh, mint chocolate chunk a go because it's right up my alley. And now, it seems quite thick on this point, like it's a proper bar. It's not like a music. Oh, jeez. Oh, poor planning on my part. I can't even get the thing open. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, we're getting it. As I do this right next to the microphone. Oh, genius, Amelia. It's quite thick. It's like a fudge. Hmm. It is very much like a... It's very chocolatey. <laughs> very chocolatey. It's like a thick fudge. Maybe a little drier than what a fudge would be. It doesn't taste like a, a health food, which is great. It definitely will curb those cravings. I do know most of them, or at least of the bars that I have here, which also include strawberry cheesecake. Um, what's this one? Cookies and cream, so it's like Oreo. And of course the apple pie. They're all gluten free. And some of them, like the apple pie and this mint chocolate chunk, is also soy free, in case you have, you know, concerns. Um, I highly recommend, particularly if you're going to work out, at 200 calories, if it's not one of your workout days, I probably wouldn't give it a go as it would generally eat up most of my snack calorie allowance. Um, but they are very tasty and a huge variety of flavors, so you should be able to find something that you find appealing to yourself. Um, I can tell you, just give them a go. I will. So there were a number of stories in the news this week that were all focused on how our New Year's resolutions are all doomed to fail. Yeah, thanks for the positive reinforcement, guys. But then I came across this very useful piece on incidental exercise. That's incidental, not accidental. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Aside from the deliberate workouts that you might pump out at the gym, or if you choose to sweat up a storm in your own lounge room, the little things you do throughout the day in the natural course of your daily activities can add an essential boost to your already established regime, such as parking in the furthest car park in the car park and walking into the shops take the stairs instead of the lift or the elevator, go see your colleague face to face instead of phoning across the office. The little things like this matter just as much as the big things. Check out the article. A link is in the description below. 
and see how many you can implement in your day-to-day -day life. Last but not least, I bring you my favorite recipe of the week. This week, it's Thai basil chicken stir fry. This meal is very similar to the Thai dish of pad kapow that you would normally get from your local Thai takeaway. Um, I've made this dish a couple of times now and I've made it as per the recipe with the chicken, but I've also made it with prawns instead of the chicken just to change things up a little. Both were droolingly delicious and the chili gives it a very mild spice. It's quite filling, but also quite light. This week, I'm also going to give it a go with beef sizzle steak um, and I'll post the results on my Twitter feed. This is a great meal for both summer and winter. The recipe is a serves four, but if you have a slightly larger family, then you can easily bulk out the serve with a little bit of rice. Um, on its own, it comes in at around 250 calories per serve, which is you know, pretty good. Uh, but with a serve of rice, and by a serve I mean a quarter of a cup of dry rice per person, uh, it comes in at around 295 calories per serve, which is still pretty great. Well, that's it from me for another week. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe for more weekly videos. Uh, and also follow me on Twitter for regular tips, recipes and exercises. I update that throughout the week. And I'll see you next week. Be healthy and be good to each other.